I wish I could say that I got up early and I came to my computer and I put myself to work and I ate properly and I worked for several hours and had a full day's work. I kind of get up and I have tea and I sit in front of the window and maybe I look at the New York Times on the web or if Glenn has gone to town to get it, look at that. Think about what I'm going to do. Go down to the treadmill. Uh, have some breakfast and meander over to the computer. I, I just get up and go right to it. Uh, I get up, have a cup of coffee, and go work. And that's that. Um, I find I've got about four hours of limited intelligence uh, and, and many more hours, another 20 of, 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 of no intelligence at all. And so I have to get, get moving right in the morning. And if things go well in that first three or four hours, then I can then push through for the rest of the day. Uh, but, but if I try and start, if I try and do something first, even something, as I'm forever explaining to my wife, something as simple as take the kids to school or make them breakfast, or even get their little, uh, their, 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 their little boots and hats on, my concentration is destroyed for the day. <laughs> That's my story and I'm sticking to it. I generally, I have a writer's schedule and so I generally get up at about 9.30 and put on the coffee, um, read the New York Times, then online go through a whole bunch of other sources I like to go to. Generally I start writing something around 11.30 or noon. I don't eat breakfast. If I eat lunch, it tends to be late. And it depends, because I do a weekly column for the New York Sun. And uh, writing day is usually Tuesday or Wednesday. And so if it's one of those days, then I'll get working on that. It generally takes about an hour for me to do a column. Usually I'll have done some sort of broad outline the night before. Um, if I'm writing a book, then it's a matter of working up a kind of yeast, which usually for me is about a 60-page outline festooned with first draft text samples, and then making that into a book is a matter of taking the part of the outline that will correspond to that chapter and fleshing it out into something. And that's just a matter, especially with um, word processing technology, that's a matter of endless revision. I don't know what my process would have been 20 years ago when it was a matter of longhand and typewriters, but now it's a matter of taking that word processing document and just massaging it until it's right. By afternoon I'm really rolling and then in the evening I sort of have to tear myself away because I'm falling asleep or I'm not working very productively. So I would not recognize, I would not uh, recommend my way of working to others. <laughs> In-Depth airs live at noon Eastern on the first Sunday of each month on Book TV on C-SPAN 2. Log on to booktv.org for information about upcoming guests.